Yeah, yeah. worries me about this is this is hard. It's hard. This is not a. This is our like our, people this don't want to hear that. I know. <laughs> they want to hear like the easy way. One day we had a crazy idea to start a business from scratch selling products on Amazon and record it every step of the way. We went to China on the search for the perfect product and filmed inside of factories where cameras had never been. We met amazing people and saw beautiful places from all around the world. We risked thousands of dollars to show you what it takes to build a business you love on your own terms. Join us on the journey to become new moguls. So where do we think we're going to be visiting factories? Is the thing. Yeah, like so definitely, the I already have a factory that I need to visit in Shenzhen. So we can fly in. The airport is whatever, it's somewhere around here. Yeah. Um, and then you literally can just like it's it's really fast to get to Shenzhen. So we'll just cross over. It's actually the interesting thing is there's tons of factories like in between in Shenzhen Dongguan and Dongguan area. area. This is like way this is like kind of the countryside. Yeah. Or whatever. And I want to say like we don't have to you do not have to go to China to do this. Like you can totally we can totally order stuff off of Alibaba and everything. Mm -hmm. But we're trying to kind of just I mean for the sake of the, it'll be much more interesting, first of all, but also it'll be cool to like show everybody the factories and the, and the Canton Fair. The thing that, the reason why the Canton Fair is good is because it allows you, so the problem. Expedites the process yes, too. Yes, that's the problem, right? So when you source on China, you go to Alibaba, you find the product, Yeah. then you order the sample, it takes a week for the sample to get there, yeah. then you're like, this sucks, let me get the next sample. Whereas if you're in Asia, especially at the Canton Fair, and you go you're to the real. phase that you're into, or whatever, you're there, you, you touch it, you feel it, I like this company, cool, I want to work with it. There's also an X factor of being there. There's something about the energy. Yeah, there's an energy, like there's it, an energy. Like I'm energized just talking about going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's next for us, like after we get the flights, what's next for us is to map out like where our factory, like determine where we're, like what products first off we're doing. Yep. Right, we've, we, you know, you the, the guys, the people watching have seen that we've like, uh, gone to different stores and looked at product that way and like that's fun and, and definitely a cool place to start now it's time for us to like get in data and, just, and, and it's supposedly the best seller but this one is supposedly this is one has 114. The ultimate ultimate product is to compete with a Yeti cooler. Oh my gosh. Okay. I hate okay. you already. <laughs> just, just hear me out though. Uh, second product is a fillet knife and third product is lures. So, so fishing is like really interesting, dude. Um, it's like maybe the one category where it's like people are asleep. It's either it's either the category is asleep or men suck at leaving reviews, and that type of demographic sucks at leaving reviews. Just to be objective about it. The knife has got this kind of cool orange handle. Uh -huh. and it Comes with a case and it has like the picture of the box. But yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> Or on the first page, you're going to make a lot of money. It's really hard. Basically. Really hard. Really hard. Uh, but we somehow squeaked out a win. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. Anybody that looks at this data would be like, these guys are magicians. So there's no freaking, how did they do this? Yeah. Because it, like. <laughs> yeah. So. Did he like tell you to stop or anything? I think this is how we do it. And this will prove the strategy of what we're thinking. We then identify, we, we basically create a brand that connects these three different products together. Okay. The other two are in really niche, like weak categories, okay. but they still fit our product or our brand at least, right? But they're weaker categories. So let's say, let's just say for instance, just for illustration purposes, let's say that there was some really got a guy that was just going gangbusters on some pickleball paddles right okay. we identified that his sales rank was crazy and he had these top five Lots and we you know whatever he's just strong listing right, right. we will make a pickleball paddle and uh, we'll compete against him 
But then we identify that pickle balls is actually a really weak category and there's really no one taking over. And so we'll rank up for that listing and get customers, start capturing them, and then turning them to pickleball paddles and trying to convert them from pickle balls to pickleball paddles and buying the other product as well and then driving traffic. So basically uh, capitalizing on the traffic that our other listings are getting and dri that we're driving to that to then convert them again to buy another product within the same line. So we're gonna buy a ton of units of our cheap thing. That's right, yeah. And we're gonna, like 10,000, I don't know, whatever. Like we're gonna get stuff for a dollar. Yeah. right yeah. Yeah. and then we're gonna buy a ton of those yeah. we're gonna acquire those customers we're gonna build our list yeah. Yeah. I love it the next category was the hunting category which has like arrows and bow cases it's like bow hunting bow hunting yeah Bra cool. Brazilian jiu-jitsu is less competition and le it, it's 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 a smaller market but I think that we, if we can find the right factory, I think that we can do really well in it uh, because I don't think that the niche has grown enough on Amazon yet. I think we should just do those four, do a deep dive, look at where the factories are at, try to find some factories, see if we can find, like actually visit them mm -hmm. and like let that be our guiding kind of like, let's let kind of fate take us where it, where it goes. They are hunting, yeah. they are camping, they're Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or, and martial arts in general, I guess. We could broaden that if we wanted to. The reality is we gotta, we gotta take action and start yeah. doing it. Sure. Like, we're running out of time. And so it's really easy to kind of like analyze everything and, and, and be in this idea phase forever, but we gotta move to the next phase.